Hey, what's going on? It's Rick here. And today I'm going to be doing a quick autofocus test comparing the Sony AX53, this is a camcorder, and it's what I'm shooting this video on at least right now, to this. This is the camera I normally use. It's a Sony RX10 Mark II. So I'm going to have a lot of other tests coming up. So if you're not a subscriber, be sure to hit the subscribe button to be caught up on all that content as it goes live. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and roll it. Be sure to let me know what you think, which camera performs better in both quality as well as autofocus. Enjoy the video. Okay, so for our first test, we're gonna look at the Sony AX53. I'm using a bunch of different smaller objects to see how it can grab on and stay locked on to focus. So you're looking at battery charger here and it's doing pretty well so far. I also wanna mention as I'm showing you this that uh, this is being filmed in 1080p, 60 frames per second. There is no use of zoom whatsoever on this. And I've got the white balance set to indoor because I have two studio lights that are aimed at these objects that are coming in at 5500k so uh, let's just get that out of the way um, so far so good it's handling the autofocus test pretty well Take a look at the Zelda Amiibo here, and you can see it uh, struggled just a little bit to gain focus, but it snapped in and, and achieved it. I also want to call out the background here. Take a look at the iPhone, the battery charger, and the other Amiibo on the table down below. There's a little bit of blurring there, so it gets a little bit of depth of field, which is kind of nice. This is a smaller sensor in this camera, so uh, it's still nice that you get a little bit of that. And let's move on to a little bit more of a challenging test, my iPhone 6S Plus. Let's see how it handles it, especially when I turn it on its side where it's a little bit thinner. So you can see here it is struggling to kind of lock on. It's got what appears to be the images or the items down below locked in. So I'm gonna have to use the old trick where you put your hand in front of the camera, get it to lock on, and there it is. Uh, but it does seem to have lost that lock on again here. So I'm going to have to use that trick again. Okay, let's move on to the Sony RX10 Mark II. Same sort of test here. We've got the same lighting conditions on the Sony RX10 Mark II. There is no zoom at all. We're not using zoom at all on this. And the white balance is set to 5500K. A little bit different here uh, than on the AX53. So far so good and take a look again at the background here down below with the phone and the charger. A little bit more blurring here probably because it's got a larger sensor in the RX10 Mark II. Uh, so you get a little bit more depth of field here but uh, it is handling it pretty well here with the autofocus. I am seeing it struggle a little bit with the autofocus here. Now remember on the other test with the AX53, it snapped in on its own. Kind of had to do that hand behind the item to get it to really focus in on this one. A little bit different here, took a little bit more to focus in. And as we move on to the final test with the iPhone 6S Plus, also, let me know what you guys think about the quality, not just the autofocus, but which camera do you think has better quality, at least in this initial test? I'll have more tests coming soon, outdoor tests and stabilization tests, uh, so be sure to be on the lookout for that. We definitely see a struggle here trying to lock on to the autofocus. And it took a little bit longer, even with uh, me putting my hand in front of the camera here, for it to achieve a lock. Uh, but it seems to be okay now. A little bit of a glitch there, if you noticed, as I pan down or move the phone down, uh, it did lose focus for a minute, 
And uh, again, it's lost focus here. Requires a little bit more effort to get it to focus in, even with uh, putting the hand in front of the lens. And that's going to do it for this comparison video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for even more content. I'll catch you next time.